I will take on every motherfucking body that has your back. I will take on everybody. One-on-one. I will take on everybody. And I will slay every fucking one of y'all. You know, I've been sitting here waiting and watching every reaction. Getting ready for somebody to be like, oh, I see what church did there. See, when I said, hey, Tom McDonald, you Dennis the Menace looking ass nigga. A lot of people say, oh, oh no, oh no. You know I'm not that kind of a black reactor. You know, <laughs> you were at the wrong place. Why is it that one reactor that I've seen a white dude? with a massive platform and said that he didn't like that he used that, you know, is he, he was questioning why was he using the word? Number one, it didn't even match anything. He said you, this is what Up Church said you, Dennis the man is looking ass N-word. He had to, con he had to consciously go in the studio and write that word. He'll be I ain't even gonna lie, I don't give a fuck he said nigga, bo. If I was born with church, that's my nigga. That's my nigga. Hey, talk that shit, nigga. Multiple things happened here that I did not see coming. What the fuck? I, did I not just say no name dropping? He casually drops the N-word too? What am I missing here? What happened over the last couple weeks? I'm fighting YouTube and next thing I know this is happening? I ain't fucking fucking with me. Me. I'm McDonald, you Dennis the Menace, looking ass nigga. Tom McDonald, whoa, what he said, nigga. Oh, this ain't nobody fucking this with me. Guy, he's snapping. Just look. <laughs> <laughs> Tom McDonald, you Dennis the Menace, looking ass nigga. Church might be up or in, the, in round one if Tom come back because I don't think Tom gonna say nigga in his bar. I ain't even peep because it's that fire. Mm. Mm. Why, bro? I'm not just gonna skim past it like it didn't happen, even though I would love to. I don't want to talk about this shit. I'm not cool with it. There was a point in time where I would be more understanding, but that was five plus years ago. I just hate that this happened, bro. It just feels so useless. You have such a broad vocabulary in all of your songs. I just don't get it. We'll keep checking out the rest of the song, but man, that just... I hate that that happened. Oh, we have a literal name drop. Well, I mean, they can have a couple of... Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Wait, hold on. Okay, okay. I mean, listen, this is hip-hop, okay? Um, and I see it. I hear it. I didn't hear it at first because, again, it's hip-hop. I'm used to specific words, you know, being put into place in, at certain times, right? Um, yeah, I don't care. This is hip-hop. If you want people to stop using this word, guess what you should probably do? Not use the word in hip-hop. Saying it towards us, he's saying it towards Tom. But I, hey, 
Why this nigga said the word so it this nigga sound like me? Ew, Billy, holla boys. Ain't nobody fucking with me. I'm McDonald, you dentist the minutes looking ass nigga. nigga. You ain't got no bullets to Why the fuck he sounds so good saying that shit, nigga? Facts! Boy, if niggas gonna trip about that, boy. Niggas gonna trip about that. Oh, I can see it now. I can see niggas going crazy. Boys, ain't nobody fucking with me. I'm McDonald, you dentist the minutes looking ass, nigga. You ain't got no bullets. It's illegal in your state killer. I'm a best on a Oh shoot. Oh shoot. <laughs> Oh shoot! <laughs> oh shoot! Okay, all right, we in here. All right, we in here. Up church. <laughs> Up church. <laughs> yeah, somebody really gotta enlighten us. Where did this come from? Where did this come from? And this man dropping in bombs. Oh my Tom gotta respond to this, bro. Mm -hmm. Tom got to respond to this. And these are two individuals that we actually fuck with. You feel what I'm saying? These are two people we actually fuck with. Like, yeah, these are... Exactly, you feel me? Like, I actually these, fuck with Up Church. That's what I'm saying? I do, I really fuck with Up Church. I just want to know where it's coming from. You know what I'm saying? I just want to know where it's coming from. No bullets. It's illegal in your state. Down south, we shooting guns all the time. All the time for it's fun. legal in our backyard, letting it all. Da, 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 da. That's what we do. Gonna bring that back now. We gonna bring that back. Holy, holy! He made sure. A, hey, I'ma put the words on the screen. Oh, that's it. Anybody that wants smoke with up church for saying the N word, tell him holla at me. What's up? It's all good. That's my nigga. <laughs> Yo, I got love for up church, man. I got love for up church. Oh, man. And it's just the word. And he'll, like, hear what he's saying, though, right? People not peeping the context to what he's saying. That's why I'm loving the fact. He has B Rad on the uh, what's that B Rad? I think that is B Rad from Malibu's most wanted on the screen, right? He's saying it with the A too at the end, like on some. It's comparable to a wigger or you just like a fronter or it's it's blatantly to trigger a certain reaction, man. And I'm loving it. This is what battle rap is about, bro. Right? This is what battle rap is about. And what I'm also loving is no subliminals. No, I'm going to say your name. Ain't no, oh, is, is this who he talking about? Man, oh, not, no. You, I'm cool. You out, right? This is crazy. I'm loving it. I'm loving, kudos to you, Up Church, man. This is some of the most entertaining content I've seen in a while. One of the best diss songs so far, and I'm only halfway through, that I've heard in a while. Like you, you doing damage right now. 
This is great. said nigga to me that shit church is church just he just makes me laugh bro like he's just a funny individual to me like <laughs> church is I mean, interesting. First off, he name dropped Tom McDonald, right? So there's no sublims anymore. He's inserting him directly into the conversation. So he's saying that with his chest out. What I don't understand, though, is dropping the N-word. I mean, I, I guarantee there's going to be people in the comment section, well, it's a white guy on a white guy, so it's not really this. But, but why? It doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't sit right with me. Like, all I can do is speak from personal experience. Right? As you guys know, I'm a white kid. I grew up in an all black county. My best friend is black. That's who I started rapping with. When I go on tour later this year, you'll see me and him together. You know, a lot of my circle and my people. Yeah, I, I come from a black community. So for me, you know, you talk about like street cred and sort of street passes, like amongst my people, sure, I could say it. But from my side of things, I never do say it. I never want to say it. I know it's a part of, of hip hop and so many people use it and i'm sure there'll be arguments down below about this but for me if you look at the history and you look at the roots of that word it's such a divisive word and you guys know here on my channel i stand for uniting people i stand for bringing people together so something as divisive as that i just i, I don't see it because it doesn't really make sense for the bars that he's saying and what he's doing and for me i'm kind of disappointed in church it's almost like he's saying it because he knows he can get away with it in this sense because he's got such a loyal following and upbringing i'm sure there's going to be a lot of reactors that gaslight it or just like skim over that but for me i can't i can't just skim over that man i'm not uh, that's a shame that's a shame because I've, I've really been breaking this down in this diss and it's gonna it, it uh, why why man there's no need for it there's no need for it church is a smart dude he's a smart guy man I love so much of his music and what he does. I think he's such a talented MC. But yeah, I'm definitely, me personally, this is my opinion, and I'm not afraid to say it. I'm disappointed. Well, do you, you don't see the bigger picture? Tom's white. I'm calling him a Dennis the Menace. Looking ass nigga. And why is that? Who capitalizes off black community all the time? Off... Black and white violence all the time. Oh, the guy that has a song called White Boys. Daddy never made no mother crazy as the white boys. Is the black dude in it? Is he, a, is he one of the white boys? No, he's not. I seen a video earlier on YouTube Shorts. This guy, he said, bro, he said, look at what Tom McDonald is choosing to say to promote his song. With Ben Shapiro during Black History Month. It's February 1st, so I wanted to say Happy Black History Month. To honor and support the black community, myself and Ben Shapiro are paying tribute to the historically black art form of hip hop by taking our new rap song, Facts, all the way to the number one spot on the Billboard charts. Do you support the black community? You don't. Unless. You download our new song facts on iTunes before midnight tonight. Yeah. Why you think I said, so why you sit on the fence, my language arts gun wrecked, holding infinite clips? Because I know what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. So let's see your reply, Dennis. 
Yeah, exactly. We can't talk the same. You gotta tread lightly because you're a fence sitter, motherfucker. All of us out here that are sick of the whole fucking drama shit, we ain't fence sitters. We may be on different sides of the fence, but at least we ain't sitting on the fence making each side of the fence fight. Mm-hmm. I'm on your ass, motherfucker. Speaking of fence sitters, even if my neighbor over there sits on the other side of the fence, the side that I don't, he's still my neighbor, right? Still somebody I can count on, right? Yo ass ain't even from this motherfucking country. So what are you doing here, fence-sitting foreigner? Who is dressed up like an American, being like, oh, I'm abandoning, um, I'm abandoning Canada, I I'm an American now. Why won't you rep Canada? What, what, you just, just gonna say, fuck Canada? Come over here with your green card and be like, I'm an American, guys. Now look, I'm going to sit on this fence and do things in places. Once again, I'm on your motherfucking ass. If you think I'm letting up, you smoking crack, buddy. Not to mention, you're a fucking undercover liberal, motherfucker. What, what's wrong with Canada, huh? Why can't you rep Canada? I'm just curious. Like, why never Canada? And you're just like, you pop up and you're like, guys, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gun-toting, I'm a gun-toting red-blooded American that lives in the shit hole. You choose, you're a foreigner. You're choosing to live in fucking commie Los Angeles. Yeah. None of your shit makes fucking sense. It does if you if you note the fact that you're a fence sitting, shit starting, fake ass motherfucker. Which is why you won't let reaction pages make money off the reactions, because you're a stingy fuck. And hey, don't be mad at me that I'll say shit that everybody's thinking because my balls are bigger than fucking grapefruits. Who's the who is the only kind of person in the world? Who don't really have a homeland because they just roam around fucking people shit up for no reason. Oh, wait. Who did you do a song with recently? Ben Shapiro? Oh, okay. Who is... Ben Shapiro's a what? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, what are you going to say? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? <laughs> yeah, I am. He ain't from here. Where's his Canadian mask? Where's his Canadian pride? Mr. Mr. I'm a redneck with the white boys, with the white toys, with the white toys. You live in Los Angeles, bro. It's nothing against California people. It's something against Los Angeles. You live in Los Angeles, bro. None of your shit makes sense. You've been 14 different fucking people since you got your damn green card or whatever and came over here. Mr. Freedom of Speech. You, you're taking away people's freedom of speech on your fucking YouTube channel for having a different opinion than you. That sounds like communism, motherfucker. I want to help the American people. Stop blocking reactors from making money, you stingy fuck. Fake ass. But hey, that's okay. That's okay. Because people got eyeballs. People got ears. Once you say stuff, people think, they think to themselves, oh, and they start watching. Now look, everybody's about to watch you super duper try to make this, make everything seem normal. Like, oh no, he just, guys, yeah, motherfucker, no, 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 no. Americans are getting smarter, motherfucker. Everybody's waking up. We we know that the, the industry is infiltrated by you motherfuckers who are fence-sitting motherfuckers. See, what you don't understand is Everybody's opening their eyes, and they don't care if somebody sits on the other side of the fence. And it's a different kind of yard. As long as you're not a fence sitter, we cool with you. You, you a fence sitter, we ain't cool with you. Yeah, checkmate, motherfucker. What are you gonna do? You've been walking around your house for three days. I don't know what to do. What am I gonna say? I've been wearing the costume of someone just like him. 
even though it's not true. And I've been a fence sitter and I've been working this whole thing together to build this image that's about to crumble when everybody's eyes open to see what I'm doing. Even if they didn't, motherfucker, you can't fucking outwrap me and you don't know nobody that can outwrap me neither. You know, I, I at least have, I, I thought you would at least have some sort of reply by now. The fact that you don't lets me know you fucking suck at fucking rapping. You fucking suck. That's why you make a video to everything. He's like, look, guys, look, don't notice all the words. Because my words don't mean jack shit. So you dress up like 6 9 motherfucker. You can't out-rap me. Nobody you know can out-rap me. And that's all there is to it. I will take on every motherfucking body that has your back. I will take on everybody. One-on-one. I will take on everybody, and I will slay every fucking one of y'all. And look, let me tell you something, bro. Last thing I'm going to say. You want to know what's wrong with this country? Nothing. You want to know what's starting to be wrong with this country? Motherfuckers being team switchers and fence sitters. When, when, when shit starts getting under attack, everybody's like, oh, no, I'm not associated with that. Yeah, well, that's what's wrong with you motherfuckers. We don't need we don't need team switchers and all this other shit for what? What have people been saying to me uh, this past week? Well, you're gonna lose views over this. First off, I don't give a fuck if I do. You know why? I ain't a team switcher. I'm fighting for the same motherfucking team until until I can't fight no more. Who's my team? The South, bro. People like me, black, white, Mexican, gay, straight, South Side people. That's up church, bro. Does it mean I dislike you if you ain't South? No. It just means I, I don't, I won't die for your team. It, it's your job to die for your team. I'm dying for my team, bro. I'm not switching my team up. And look, what people like oh Thomas, oh Hummus Thomas, have fucking proven is that people will switch sides for numbers. I ain't switching for no motherfucking numbers. You know why? Because these roots actually do run deep. Hey, if that hurts your feelings, oh well, motherfucker. What do you mean do? Get a time machine and, and be born out of a vagina somewhere else? Nah, I'm a ride or die, motherfucker. I would rather die than ride out and be somewhere else. And I hope everybody else feels that about their community, about their region, north, south, east, or west, America, Canada. Since we obviously see Canada's people run elsewhere and don't claim their actual team. But it is what it is. I don't care about numbers. I care about morals. I care about being real. And I care about being a warrior, motherfucker. That's it. If you don't like that, well, chances are you're not a warrior. P.S. I ain't lost no views or listeners. They've gone up tremendously. So keep sitting on that fence, boy.